Hey Hustlers, welcome back to the channel. So I got another wig show and tell for you guys. This is Sensationals But a Lace Unit 37 in the color CH Blonde. It does come in a plethora of other colors. This wig is brought to you by EbonyLine.com. So make sure that you guys check them out. This wig is... Um, equipped with two combs in the front um, it is a middle part and then you also get a comb in the nape with adjustable straps the lace was super duper soft on this wig this is um, a natural um, style wig so it is yakky textured and so um, it just mimics um, our hair you know and so I'm going to go ahead and put this wig on for size. It is, I would say, big head friendly because I did have to adjust it quite a bit for my little pea head. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the um, lace around my ears. And I really wanted this wig to be a um, glueless and so also like spray list as well and so I didn't want to have to use anything so I'm just going in with some powder to define the part a little bit and any powder will work honestly you can use any brand um it doesn't really matter it's it will work and so as long as it's your scalp color and so I'm just adjusting the wig how I want it to be and like already off rip I just love this unit like it looks so freaking natural it just looks like I got a blowout and some highlights and I'm just leaving the salon and so I did pluck this unit you did you get about a half an inch of lace on the sides and then more towards the middle where that parting space is you get about an inch of parting space um or of lace and so I did go ahead and pluck around it just so that it looks as natural as possible you definitely don't have to it wasn't really necessary it's still going to look pretty natural if you don't but I'm extra and I like to do it and so it's just become a part of my routine when it comes to human hair wigs synthetic wigs it doesn't matter I'm gonna do some plucking and so I'm just cutting um the lace off and as you can see it just without any spray without anything it is melted into my skin it looks so freaking good and um I did go ahead with some ebon lace tint underneath um for under the lace and so it matches my skin tone pretty well and so i'm gonna go ahead and use that eyebrow razor i recommend using the eyebrow razor so you don't get a blunt a blunt cut um but if you do have to use scissors i would just go ahead and just make sure that you cut in a jagged line and so it's not you know um super noticeable so i'm gonna go in with my contour shade and make sure that i um get this hairline the way I want it to be and just look at the color of this unit it is so freaking pretty you can put heat on this unit up to 400 degrees and so that's what I'm using my hot comb to kind of flatten out the top um it does come pretty flat and just styled nicely out of the packaging but you guys know I'm extra I like a certain look and so I kind of like that pushed back look um Lately, I really haven't been doing any baby hairs on any unit. <laughs> and so um, normally I utilize baby hairs to conceal the lace. But lace lately has been really looking real good. And so there's no need for baby hairs in my opinion. Um, so if it's still your thing, I definitely, you know, do what you want to do. It's your wig. It's your money that you spent. So make your wig your own. And yeah, look at this wig. It just is giving Olivia Pope. It's giving, you know, just sophista sexy. And I love it. <laughs> so yeah, it's gorgeous. So let me know what you guys think of this one down below. Um, look at that texture. Look at the color. It is everything. So definitely make sure you guys pick this one up. It was super affordable. I know it's under 40. And so definitely, definitely, definitely pick this one up. I'm going to be picking it up in different colors as well. Um, I like the balayage colors as well. But let me know what you guys think and check out Ebony Line. Bye.